Alright, so I'm going to begin by priming my eyes with MAC's Painterly Paint Pot. This is going to help all the eyeshadow stick to my eyelids and keep it from creasing throughout the day. Make sure to not go too heavy on this step. Now I'm going to apply a transition shade to my crease. This will help the colors that I apply blend evenly without having any harsh lines between the colors. The shade that I'm using is Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek, and the brush that I'm using is the 776 by Delium Tools. This is the pink bamboo brush, but it also comes in green. Make sure you really work the shade into the crease so that it blends out really, really evenly. Now with the same brush, I'm going to take my favorite color ever, which is Shimma Shimma by Makeup Geek, and I'm just going to pat it on my inner corner out to the middle of my lid. Then I'm going to go back in with the fluffy brush and just blend it out so it blends really well into the crease with no lines. Here I'm taking the eyeshadow brush from the Real Techniques Limited Edition Duo Fiber Collection, and I'm using the shade Brown Sugar, also by Makeup Geek, to add a little bit of definition on the outer corners of my eyes. I'm just going to blend it really lightly and make sure to get that outer V really defined. And as always, just keep blending. Here comes the tricky part. I'm going to use NYC Liquid Liner in black. I think it comes in pearlized black and regular black, so just use the regular black. Um, this is only about $3, which makes it a great liquid liner, and it's super, super pigmented and shows up very dark on the eyes, which I love. So I'm going to draw a thin line starting in the inner corner and extending to the outer corner. And then I'm going to draw a line extending from my lower lash line at a slight angle and fill it in to make a wing. Before I filmed this video, I made sure to cleanse and moisturize my face so all of that has been taken care of before I start applying my skin products. So the first thing I'm going to use is my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NW20. I love this stuff. It does not crease one set properly. So what I do is I usually pat it underneath my eyes and then let it sit for a little bit. I'll then take a damp beauty blender, which is that pink sponge thing you see here. I'm sorry, it looks like I'm flicking you off, but that's just how I hold my sponge. I'm going to use my beauty blender and then make sure to blend that all out really well underneath the eyes. And I also put some concealer over my acne on the sides of my face, so I made sure to blend that out as well. Now I'm going to use about a dime sized drop of my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus foundation. This is in the shade 30. It's oil free and water resistant so it's great for summer. I'm using the Beauty Blender to apply my foundation so that I leave all of the concealer that I put on over my acne undisturbed underneath the foundation. So I'm just going to dab this all over my skin, make sure to get it evenly distributed, sorry, checking my texts, and blend it down my neck slightly as well to make sure that everything matches perfectly. Now I'm going to take the powder brush from the Real Techniques Duo Fiber Limited Edition Collection. That is such a mouthful. And I'm going to use my setting powder and just go all over my face. Make sure to really focus on the under eye area. Especially with the Pro Longwear Concealer, if you don't set it properly, um, it will tend to kind of cling to your mascara and leave little black dots underneath your eyes. I'm using the Studio Fix Powder from MAC in the shade NC20 to do all of that setting. Now with the medium sized brush from the same Real Techniques collection, I'm going to use my Benefit Rock Tour blush and just buff that onto my cheeks. I start in a patting motion and then buff it as I get less product. This is such a beautiful blush. It's great on almost every skin tone. It has a light shimmer to it without being over the top and adds a really beautiful sheen for summer. Now I'm going to use a highlighter with the same medium sized brush. This is Hard Candy Bronzer technically, but it's really a highlighter and it's in the shade Tiki. You can get this at Walmart and it is super, super cheap. Now I'm going to fill in my brows. Brows are so important. Here I'm using Smashbox Brow Tech in the shade Brunette, as well as the Delium Tools brush number 760. I'm focusing a majority of the product at the arch and the tail and then the least amount of product in the inner corner so that I don't end up looking really angry with lots of buildup right next to my nose. I do like to shade my eyebrows a little bit darker because they do fade slightly when I go in with the brow gel, which is what I'm doing right now. This is brow gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills and it's just their clear brow gel. It's like a hairspray for your brows. It helps keep all the hairs going in the same direction and just really makes everything look very, very clean and polished. And now I'm just doing the other brow, which is really boring because you've already seen me do it once. Now I'm just going in and curling my lashes. I don't even know which lash curler this is, but it was probably like two bucks because I rarely curl my lashes and I don't want to spend a lot on one. Make sure you curl your lashes before you do mascara. 
I am using my favorite mascara of all time, which is L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. I bent the wand at a slight angle to make it a little bit easier for me to apply. You can do this by sliding the wand almost all the way out of the tube until just the brush is in the tube and then bending it to the side, which will bend the wand without you even having to get your fingers full of mascara. Now I'm going to use the same mascara in the waterproof formula for my bottom lashes so that if my eyes water I don't end up with black marks all over underneath my lashes. Once again make sure you have your concealer completely set with setting powder before you add this mascara because otherwise you will get those little super attractive black dots. So just avoid that. Alright, now I am going to line my lips. When I line my lips, I make sure that I completely fill my lips in so that as the color starts fading, I don't end up with that really nice ring all the way around. The color that I'm using here is number 812 Plum by NYX Cosmetics. I really love their lip liners. They're really inexpensive and I feel like they work really well. However, the formula can get a little bit dry, so I'm going to add a lip gloss on top of it, which will also add a little bit more color. I went to MAC yesterday and got a bunch of new glosses. Okay, I got three, but that's a bunch for me. The one that I'm using here is called Modern Lux, and I kind of feel really bad for using this one in the video because they don't even sell it anymore. I think it's sold out of their limited edition collection already, depending on which store you go to. But it's a really pretty purple with lots of purple and red shimmer in it, so it adds a lot of dimension to the lips and really deepens up the color and makes it look very, very rich. I like it because it matches my hair. I'm wearing this white off-the-shoulder dress from Shop Velvet Moon, I'll link it below, as well as some random drop earrings that I think I wore for my mom's wedding. Anyway, I'll link everything in the down bar, so make sure to check that out. Thank you so much for watching.